Hello everyone welcome to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Update. Today, I wanted to dive into the discussion around the potential deletion of zeros from the Iraqi currency, a topic that has been generating a lot of buzz and debate. As many of you may know, the Iraqi Dinar has long been a currency with a high number of zeros making it inconvenient for daily transactions and creating challenges for the country's economy. The news article by newshound guru K. Peroni, titled Deleting the Zeros of the Iraqi Currency, touches on this issue and provides some valuable insights. K. Peroni, a respected expert on Iraqi economic affairs, has stated numerous times that he does not want to see Iraq delete the zeros from its currency. This is a surprising stance, as the conventional wisdom has often been that removing zeros would help streamline the currency and make it more user-friendly. However, Caperone's reasoning is quite compelling. He argues that deleting the zeros could have unintended consequences and potentially do more harm than good for the Iraqi economy. Let's explore some of the key points he raises in the article. First and foremost, Caperoni emphasizes that the decision to delete zeros should not be taken lightly. It is a complex process that requires careful planning and consideration of the potential impact on various sectors of the economy. Hasty actions, he warns, could lead to significant disruptions and instability. One of the primary concerns raised in the article is the potential impact on the Iraqi people. Caperoni notes that many Iraqis have become accustomed to the current value of the dinar, and a sudden change could cause confusion and anxiety. There's a risk that it could erode public trust in the currency and the government's ability to manage the economy effectively. Moreover, Caperoni highlights the importance of maintaining the dinar's stability and purchasing power. Deleting zeros he argues, could potentially lead to inflationary pressures, making it more difficult for Iraqis to afford basic goods and services. This could have far-reaching consequences, particularly for the most vulnerable members of society. Another critical point raised in the article is the potential impact on Iraq's international trade and relationships. The dinar's current value, with its high number of zeros, has allowed Iraq to maintain a level of economic autonomy and bargaining power in global markets. Removing these zeros could change the perceived value of the currency, potentially affecting trade agreements, foreign investment, and the country's overall economic standing on the world stage. Caperoni also emphasizes the need for a comprehensive economic plan that addresses the root causes of Iraq's economic challenges, rather than simply focusing on the cosmetic changes of deleting zeros. He suggests that greater attention should be paid to improving infrastructure, diversifying the economy, and implementing sound fiscal and monetary policies. In conclusion, while the idea of deleting zeros from the Iraqi currency may seem like a straightforward solution, Caperoni's article highlights the complexities and potential pitfalls involved. His cautionary stance serves as a reminder that such decisions should be made with a deep understanding of the country's economic landscape and the potential ripple effects on the Iraqi people and its international standing. As the debate continues, it will be essential for policymakers, economists, and the Iraqi public to engage in a thoughtful and transparent dialogue to ensure that any decisions made regarding the currency are in the best interest of the nation as a whole. By considering the insights provided by experts like K. Peroni, Iraq can navigate this complex issue with care and wisdom. Thank you for watching and I encourage you to continue exploring this topic and staying informed on the ongoing developments in the Iraqi economy.